Hello and welcome to this training course from Tech Tips from Will on Windows Deployment Services in Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. In this training course I will be looking at the Windows Deployment Services role and how it works in a Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2 network infrastructure. In this first lesson of the course, I will provide you with an overview of what Windows Deployment Services is and how it works. In later lessons from the course, I will demonstrate how to install and configure Windows Deployment Services. So let's get started. Windows Deployment Services first made its debut back in the days of Windows Server 2000 and Windows Server 2003. However, back in those days, the tool was known as Remote Installation Services. Starting with Windows Server 2008, Microsoft decided to rename the tool to Windows Deployment Services and has kept the name change ever since. So, what exactly is Windows Deployment Services? Windows Deployment Services is a technology that can install Windows operating systems onto bare metal computers over the network. To put this into perspective, when you install an operating system, you would normally use the traditional Windows DVD or perhaps a bootable USB flash drive. With Windows Deployment Services, however, the operating system is stored on a dedicated server. Operating systems stored on a WDS server are called images. An image, in a nutshell, is essentially a snapshot of a computer at a specific point in time. When a new bare metal computer is connected to the network, Windows Deployment Services will install the image onto that computer over the network. Of course, this does beg the question, why would you want to do it this way? And what's wrong with using the traditional Windows DVD? These are good questions, and they deserve clear answers. First, imagine that you work for a large company and have just taken delivery of 100 new client computers. You have been given the task of installing Windows 8.1 onto these computers. If you were to use the traditional Windows DVD, or even a bootable USB flash drive, you would have to visit each of these computers, one at a time, and install the operating system. Of course, you could burn 100 DVDs or USB flash drives and set the installs off at the same time, but this still isn't practical. With Windows Deployment Services, you can simply unbox the computers, connect them to the network, switch them on, and Windows Deployment Services will do the rest. Also, Windows Deployment Services is very flexible with the images it installs for you. What I mean by this is that you can customise the images that you store on the Windows Deployment Services server. For example, you could install an image onto a bare metal computer that has been taken straight from the Windows DVD and not customised at all. Of course, this image will contain no software applications and will likely need to be patched with the latest Windows updates. To make things easier, you can create your own customised image which includes the operating system, updated drivers, the latest Windows updates, and that has all of the business applications and programs you require. When an image such as this is deployed, there is less administrative overhead required in configuring the client computers after the installation. In later lessons, I will demonstrate how to create and deploy these different types of images. This concludes the introductory lesson on Windows Deployment Services. By now, you should have a basic understanding of Windows Deployment Services and how it works. In the next lesson of the training course, I will demonstrate how to install Windows Deployment Services onto a Windows Server 2012 R2 server. Many thanks, and we'll see you on the next lesson.